ready to go in three, two, one, and go. Both teams just jockeying for position. Big hit face to face. The speed on these is unreal. They are zooming around the box. Big hit. This is Federal MT from Brazil. Up, oh, it's been turned upside down. Ooh, and it nice does some capoeira to get back to its upright state. Yeah. Cor That's Corey's dance fighting, brother. Corey's doing a great job driving this. He's lining up that other robot really well. Yes. He's Ooh. Both these teams just very aggressive, not afraid to just run, smash their face into the other one. Yeah. Yeah, Max Wedge is, is using magnets. Federal MT caught at Max Q. Sent it through the air a little bit. Yeah, Max Q's a lot quicker and, and feistier than it was the last time. I wonder if he was having issues with something. Yeah. Doing a great job of facing off. You know, trying to get those wedges under, trying to avoid that wedge or the, the drum. The spinner, yeah. Going oh, this is oh we've got another piggyback ride. Uh, got off before him into the wall, yeah. Federal MT trying to take some forks. The aggression on Max Q here, very impressive. Yeah, absolutely. Staying on it. The Federal MT is definitely the one Keeping getting the sparks, sparks out of this. Pointed in the right direction. Now on the chase. Okay, great Ooh. hit. Great hit. Okay, Some, somebody's looks like something problem. came off. Yeah, there was a belt, was a belt or a chain on the floor. Never a good sign. It looks like it was one of the, the drive belts off Federal. Federal MT. You can see in the, in this, in the center groove of his weapon, those only, it looks like there's only one belt right now. Max Q looks like it may be struggling to yeah. get some, some real motion. Ooh, cutting in, you got know, some sparks both, there. Both of these robots are doing a great job hunting each other. Yeah. You know, going after, you know, Federal pulling off enough to get turned around, keeping his weapon speed up, and then coming back at him. This is I mean, it looks like two wild cats going at it. Federal MT catching a ride on Max Key's back there again. Probably typical of a wedge. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, now they're, now they're avoiding each other a little bit. It looks like Max Q's turn radius maybe has uh, been affected in some way. Hard to tell. Yeah. We are counting down. Federal MT is smoking a little bit as we got our refs countdown. And that'll be time. We have a time limit. Not, now here again, if Federal MT was wise, he'd have that weapon spinning. Because right now it wasn't spinning when the match ended, and the judges are going to go, you know, why was it spinning when it ended? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he might have, wasn't going to get it, but you, you need to keep that thing going. Yeah. You don't want any doubt in their mind, you know? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you sorry. want to show that you're what, you can see a good shot there. Uh, oh, it's a belt, yeah. It's a belt, yeah. No, these are, these are toothed belts, and that's designed that way to get heat out of the belt so it doesn't compress as it goes around the pulley as much, mm. so you remove, remove material. Got some replays here. Run yeah, belts are interesting. You, in, in, these, in all, all powered weapons like that, you need a built-in clutch to protect the motor. So the drum spinning, motor spinning the, the drum, goes into the other bot, comes to a dead stop. You don't want that motor to come to a dead stop. You want some sort of slippage in there. Yeah. And so that's kind of a black art of how tight those belts are. A lot of guys use a regular clutch with two plates with a steel plate in the center, a lot of chain drives. Yeah. And then belts is sort of a simple, easy way to do it. And you just need a tensioner so you could adjust that stuff. Yeah. No, I'm all about loosening my belt after a weekend at, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> binging at a, at a Buffalo Wild Wings. So how are we scoring that? I mean, I, I think... I think Federal MT, but I really don't know. Oh, uh, well, and here again, the damage wasn't equal. Right. Because Federal MT lost the belt. We do have judges going yeah. into the box to inspect the damage. Yeah. So that does exactly. show 
that this will be a determining factor. Yeah, Max Q looks, they're looking for damage, you know, and I, I, I'm guessing they're thinking aggression was pretty equal, wasn't much damage, and, and the difference might be that belt, you know? Yeah. Which here again, they had two, so it didn't affect the robot, but it's still something that wasn't on that robot when it started the match. Sure. So, you know. I mean, it sounds a little futzy, but I mean, you know how the margin on these matches are. Yeah. And a little thing like that could well cost you oh, the match. I, I know all about fussiness. I am a fussy little boy. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I am holding the belt that got taken off in my hand. Um, this might be the determining factor of the match. Yeah, could be. So I will hold out my hand in that view there. You oh, yeah, see. yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> you can see that little belt. There you go. I am just a man with a blue sleeve. That's all anyone in the world knows about the, me. The right woman now. we're looking at holding the controller is Chris, Gary Jin's wife. Chris is extremely active in the animal rescue field. So There's a rumor no one has ever been in the house because they have 87 cats, but that's never been really confirmed. Yeah. Okay, so this should be a fun fight. Gary Jin against Boyun. Yeah, so this is original sin. Right. Right. I think Gary's a little excited after that last match. As we wait on the judge's decision for that last match. Actually, if Bullion's working and it's drive trade's working, it could be an interesting match. If he has the speed to keep up with Gary Jin, which is no easy. Easy thing to do. Yeah. Gary's doing uh, a, his front wedge is something I, I think he pioneered. I could be wrong, but the first time I saw it, it's the three. It's a three-part thing. So there are three of them flopping. So to get underneath it, you have to get underneath all three ah. to get the stuff. It's been very effective for him. He's had a couple of his standard nose designs that are relatively simple but really effective. And against, against somebody like Ray, he runs a sort of a C shape. And so the blade goes in, but not over top. Yeah. And so it kind of catches the blade. I mean, when you're dealing with someone like Ray, you gotta, you gotta, you know, it's no, not an all win situation. You gotta sacrifice something. Yeah. Hold on. All right, we oh. have a winner from our last match. Ooh. Federal MT Gee. wins a 17-16 bout. Ooh. Well, you don't yeah. get any closer than that. Yeah. Let's get